We have big smiles on our face because <laughs> the topic I of like, daily Bible reading, yeah. it's exciting. I'm excited. It's not a drag in my mm -hmm. opinion. It's no. exciting. Yeah. It used to not, like I used to, like when I was a kid, not know how to read the Bible and not mm -hmm. get excited. I have always loved God, but to read the Bible, I just, the reading part wasn't my thing to read books or, you know, whatnot. Um, but what changed for me, and I think it, that it's important um, if we're talking about the importance of reading our Bible, is because we, to me, my opinion is we can't just rely on the church to give us our food. You know, that's our daily responsibility as far as um, when we get to heaven, God's, we're just accountable to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, and it's not knocking anybody by any means, but I think sometimes if we just rely on people or songs or devotionals as our intake, we kind of get this telephone game going on mm -hmm. and we pick up different pieces of the Bible or of God's heart and we don't get that full story. And so what changed for me was the moment I said, you know what, God, I give every everything that I know about Christianity to you. I, I want you to start over at me. And, and I knew I could trust the Holy Spirit enough to let me learn his heart. And so that's when I started reading the New Testament because we are in the New Covenant. I wanted to read that first. And, um, and I read it from beginning to end, like a story. And my entire perspective of Christianity and God's heart changed for me. And that is why I'm smiling because it, he is such a loving father and he's, he's got an incredible love story. You mentioned the word story, and you know, that's the thing that I discovered the first time I read through the Bible, straight through from start to finish, and I did start in Genesis, mm -hmm. it just went straight through, and my plan was, my personal plan was two chapters a day, mm -hmm. and that's just what I set out to do, and I did that till I was done, um, but the story, mm -hmm. the story yeah. that you learn, because we all read the Noah's Ark books, and we all hear the little stories, and we all get snippets of it, but when you do it completely, it's an and start story. to stop and think about it, yeah. take that time to think about it, mm -hmm. it's mind-blowing. It is, it's and it's, you get so excited. I think we were talking earlier about like how you, you get, sometimes like when I was reading the New Testament, I could only go so far, because it's just like, it's so in your heart, like, I don't know, it's like a download of God's love and you can only focus on this one section because you're literally full. At least it was for me, like I could only go a few verses at a time sometimes to meditate on that certain section because I just wanted to take that all in. The first time that I did the, the Bible straight through, um, I was a pretty new Christian mm -hmm. at the time and I decided I was just going to start writing down the, the verse, like the book and the passage that meant something to yeah. me. Um, you've talked about journaling. Mm -hmm. You're really good at it. I've never been great <laughs> at journaling, but I'm good at note taking. Mm -hmm. And so I just started writing down Genesis 3:15, or okay. you know, just yeah. Matthew, whatever. And um, by the time I was done, I mean, just the list, the lists of Avoid verses. Next. And I was able to look back at that and go, wow, wow. You know, the Bible yeah. says that it's living and breathing, mm -hmm. sharper than any double-edged sword. And, mm -hmm. and I can't think of another book that I read that is more yeah. internally building right. than the Bible. So Jennifer, do you think that it's okay to skip days? Or what do you think is the consistency? How much should you read out of the Bible? Well, I don't want to sound harsh, <laughs> no. but I don't think no it's okay to here. skip days. Yeah. Um, I think we need the Word of God in our hearts in some way every mm -hmm. single day. Yeah. But that might look differently yeah. depending oh, on what sure. we can do. You know, there's the great Bible reading plans, mm -hmm. which are wonderful. They're a guide. Um, they get you through the Bible in a year or two mm -hmm. years, and that's a great option. Mm -hmm. um, but also just the idea of consistency. You know, some nights I have a half an hour to dive into the Bible. Yeah. Some nights I just have enough time to get a verse or two in. Mm -hmm. But that that became has become my non-negotiable. Yeah. I cannot go a day without my eyes seeing or my ears hearing some piece of scripture, even if it's only a couple verses. Yeah. It's like medicine, I think. Yeah. You've got to have it every yeah. day. I love the fact that social media, technology, all that stuff gives us so many connectability that, you know what, that is true. I between do. the apps that you yeah. can get on the phone. Um, I might just look up BibleGateway.com and look at the verse of mm -hmm. the day. Um, you know, various things exist mm -hmm. to make it right. something that we can continually 
and right. be doing. I do have the Bible app on my phone, so I guess I should take that back. I always have the Bible <laughs> with me. And I do usually start, like, usually in the morning of at least looking at the verse of the day. I guess I, that, that's more of a a better way to put that. But I think it's also important to know that God isn't like a guy with a gavel who's right. going to hammer us if we miss a day in the right. Bible or if we don't read the amount that we intended to read or that right. our Bible, our, our, our plan says. Mm -hmm. In fact, last January I started what was supposed to be a 12-month reading plan mm -hmm. and in December I had made it three months in. That doesn't mean I quit what I was doing, but yeah. I got so excited about what I was reading, yeah. and I wanted to read it over and over again. And there were days when I just kept reading the same chapter because it was mm -hmm. just building so much. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just so much to learn. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs>